Ahoy there, mateys. Welcome back. Today we're setting sail on a journey through history to uncover the fascinating story of one of the most notorious pirates of the golden age of piracy, Jack Rackham. Jack Rackham, also known as Calico Jack, was a pirate whose name now resonates through the annals of maritime history. Born in England around 1682, Rackham's life was a tapestry woven with tales of adventure, rebellion, and ultimately, betrayal. Rackham's journey into piracy began in the early 18th century during the golden age of piracy. Little is known about his early years, but it is believed that he served as a quartermaster aboard various ships before embarking on his own piratical endeavors. In 1718, Rackham commandeered the sloop William off the coast of Jamaica, signaling the beginning of his reign as a feared buccaneer. One of Rackham's most notable contributions to pirate lore was his association with two legendary female pirates, Anne Bonny and Mary Reed. Together, they formed a formidable trio, terrorizing the Caribbean seas with their daring exploits. Anne Bonny and Mary Reed fought alongside him, challenging the conventional gender norms of the time. Rackham's exploits at sea were marked by audacity and cunning. He raided merchant vessels and coastal towns with impunity, amassing a small fortune in plundered riches. His flag, adorned with a skull and cross swords, struck fear into the hearts of those who crossed his path. However, Rackham's reign as a pirate captain was short-lived. In October 1720, his luck ran out when he encountered a British naval sloop off the coast of Jamaica. Despite Anne Bonny and Mary Reed's valiant efforts to defend their ship, Rackham and his crew were overwhelmed and captured without a fight. Legend has it that Rackham was found drunk in the hold of his ship, unable to mount a proper defense. Rackham and his crew were brought to trial in Jamaica, where they would face charges of piracy and murder. Rackham's fate was sealed when eyewitness testimony from former crew members implicated him in numerous acts of piracy. On November 18th, 1720, Rackham was convicted and sentenced to hang. In his final days, Rackham languished in prison, perhaps reflecting on the choices that led him to his inevitable demise. His legacy, however, would outlive him. Rackham's exploits at sea inspired countless works of literature, music, and film, immortalizing him as one of history's most infamous pirates. But beyond the swashbuckling tales and romanticized portrayals, Rackham's life offers valuable insights into the complex nature of piracy during the Golden Age. Like many of his contemporaries, Rackham was a product of his time, driven by economic hardship, political unrest, and a desire for adventure. His actions, while perhaps morally reprehensible, were often a response to the socio-economic conditions of his era. Furthermore, Rackham's relationship with Anne Bonny and Mary Reed challenges conventional notions of gender and power. In an age where women were expected to be submissive and demure, Bonny and Reed defied norms by taking up arms and fighting alongside men. Their partnership with Rackham symbolizes a defiance of gender roles and a rejection of patriarchal authority. Jack Rackham's life serves as a captivating tale of adventure, rebellion, and ultimately tragedy. His exploits at sea continue to capture the imagination of audiences around the world, immortalizing him as a legendary figure in maritime history. Yet beneath the swashbuckling facade, lies a complex individual whose actions were shaped by the tumultuous time in which he lived. So there you have it, mateys, the thrilling tale of Calico Jack Rackham. Until next time, you scurvy dogs, fair winds and following seas. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe even learned a thing or two. While you're in the neighborhood, feel free to check out some of my other videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can easily find your way back.